So it's Fusion Radio with Brian Sensei, YTS Keys, man. And uh, I told y'all I was a little bit excited about this next guest, man. I love my folks from the West Side, man. I absolutely do, man. And uh, my brother, man, reached out to me and was like, man, I want to be on Fusion Radio, man. And I was like, Trey, you got to come, man. His name is Trey Glow, man. He's in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Trey Glow, man. What it do? All right, man. So, like, man, uh, love your energy, man, and uh, love the fact, man, that you want to be on the show, man, and love the fact that we get a chance to spotlight some of your dope music, man. Okay. So, let's get into, man, what inspired you, man, to want to, like, actually be an artist, do music, all that stuff? Man, poverty, man. Where I came from, poverty, you know, uh, how I grew up, just the whole way around it, man, like, ever since I was a kid, you know. That's all I've really been doing, like writing my first, you know, my first song, you know, and talent shows in school and stuff, you know, doing my thing. You know, I always been like, uh, like I always knew I wanted to be an artist, like a, uh, a musician, whatever, whatever people want to call it, musician, artist, whatever. I always knew I wanted to do that, you know. So that was my dream, that was in my heart. I thought about it before I even did it. I visioned it before I even did it, you know. That was something that I was when I went to sleep. That was something I seen. You know, before I even got this age, I've been knowing that I was going to do that. And I knew I was going to be great at it. So, here I am, man. You know, I'm going to be at the top soon. So, I'm right here, you know. And that's what I love to do. And I'm going to always do it no matter what. For sure, for sure, for sure. So, like my brother said, you from out west. So, me, so, I've been out west, you feel me? But I ain't but I ain't from out west, though. So, I wouldn't know, like, out west like how y'all know out west. So, for the people that's not really fam familiar with out west, especially your area in out west, because mm -hmm. I know it's just, like, over east. Like, it's certain parts that's worse than others or certain things going on in certain areas. So, for the people that's not familiar with your area out west, could you let them know how it was going up in that um, Pacific, Pacific area, though? Yeah, I got you. Uh, well, where I'm from, I'm from the Austin area. I mean, you know, I grew up, you know, on Globe Block, you know. Five seven hundred, you know, and uh, that's my, that's what I just grew up at, you know. That's my, you know, that's my my people grew up in my daddy, my brothers, you know, my child, you know, my cousins, everybody, you know. So it's just more than just like a, it's more than just like a community, you know. It's like a family, you know. You build that. Everybody know each other. All the neighbors know each other. You know, all the kids know each other. You know, all people, my daddy, my daddy was like one of the people that really held down the block, you know, like held down that, you know, dealing with like the block clubs, dealing with like uh, festivals, I mean festivals, like events, anything like that, you know, he always wanted to bring everybody else, so that's what I'm just trying to do. But the West Side, I can say this, like, a lot of people might, you know, paint an image on it, like, oh, we bad, we do this, we do this, you know, we shoot, we kill, no, nah, it ain't really none of that, man, like, it is how it is in this world, you know? If you step to somebody and you try to think that you tougher than them or you overcome them, you know, people be thinking that people like crazy or they like like bees or they like, you know, they 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 not they not tough, they soft. Yeah. So if you anybody if you try to step to and you try to challenge their authority, then what you expect them to do, you know? That's just them being them, you know, a man being a man, a woman being a woman, anybody, it don't matter. But it's like in general, man, out west, I love it. You know, I love it. Man, I grew up there, been there all my life, man. You know, I'm 22 years old. I've been there all my life, so I love it, man. I don't want to change nothing. So I want to build on what you just talked about, man, on your bucket list, man. You want to talk about your childhood trauma and how, you know, of course, you were raised on the west side and what it felt like to live in property, man. Go go a little bit further into that. Basically, like, uh. I could say, like, me in general, like, my, my opinion, what I've seen, what I know, I ain't grow with Silk Spoon. Like, I, had, like, I don't want to say everybody, because everybody, everybody got a deeper story than, than me. Mm -hmm. Everybody got a harder story. You know, I probably, I probably fell off the cliff, but he probably fell off a roof. You hear me? If you understand, you know? No, definitely. But, like, what I'm trying to say is that I didn't grow with a Silk Spoon. So my father, I have my father. You know, I have my mama as well, but they, you know, do what they did, separate, you know, do what they do, you know, but I really had my father, though, you know, my father was my everything, you know, it was my, that was my best friend, you know, really, I told him everything, I, t I told him everything, he told me everything I know, you know, and it's like, he worked for what he did, you know, he ain't really had no job, but he, he had side hustle, he was a mechanic on the side, so any car came through the bed, broken down, whatever, he fixed it, he made his money, you know, he did what he did, and he always taught me to, you know, follow my dream, you ain't gotta, you ain't gotta, uh, See what other people do, and you think you got to do that in order to make it in this world. He taught me other ways to make it around the corner, you know? Look this way, go this way, 
Maybe it'll be good. Maybe it'll be different. So that's why I just, that's why I, I always been like that, man. It's like, uh, I've been trying since I was young. Right now, I've just been trying. I'm just doing me, been me since then. So that's what I'm doing, man. That's how I'm just different, man, from everybody, man. That you, I, like anybody that people see, anybody that people know, I'm just different, man. That's all I can say. I'm really different, for real. Uh, no, most definitely, like, what a lot of people don't understand is, like, coming up in certain situations and having to go through certain things change you as a person. Like, yeah. People get it, but then they really don't get it yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Like, that's why I asked you the question about out west, because it's like, I'm I'm from over east. So, right, right. my outlook on, like, the city might be one way, but it might be way different from you, though. So, and then, even, like, how we was brought up, like, I might... I probably was brought up a certain type of way over east compared right. to another person over east. Like, you might have been brought up a certain type of way out west than sure. the next person like him or something like that that was brought up out west. Like, sure. it might be way different. So, that's what makes music so great, though, at the same time. For because, sure. like, you know, it's a lot of people out here making music and stuff like that, but that one person, like, your outlook, like I said, your outlook might be way different than mine. Yeah. So how you might be able to come about a song, it might be way different. Even though we from the same city and we not that far apart. You just from out west and I'm from over east. But so. we, could, we could probably hop on the same beat. That's the crazy thing about it. We could hop on the same beat. But he might take off on the beat a whole different type of way than I would just off how we look at music, just based off how we was raised. We a all family. Exactly. We all family, man. I don't care what side people from, man. South, east, west, north, whatever, man. In my eyes, man, you the same color as my skin, man. I ain't trying to say, you know, if you Caucasian, man, you is what you will. But I'm just saying, me and my eyes, man, you my same skin color, man. I love you, man. You my brother. So it's like, that's how I'm always coming, man. I don't care what you is, man, you know. That's how I grew up. That's how I was raised, man. I don't care. I'm sticking with my people forever. So that's how I'm coming. Give us a breakdown, man, of who you are as an artist. Uh, I'm not your typical artist. I'm like a, a soul mixed with hip, mixed with a little love with it. Because I want to I wanna make you feel it. But when you feel it, you like, man, like, he actually know me. Like, he sat down with me and I told him this and he went and recorded this. You hear me? Like, he know me. And I ain't never had a conversation with him. It's like, when you hear a song, you're going to be like, man, I told him my whole story. And he just wrote it down on a piece of paper and went and re went and just go record it. That's how I want to make my music is. That's how my music is. I'm really different, like versatile with it. And like I write, but now I'm I'm working on uh a freestyle. I'm working on freestyling and everything because I don't really freestyle like that. I really take my time when I write because it's passion to me. That's what it. That's what it is. I want to make sure every line, every bar, every word play, everything I say on that mic. I want to make sure it's good. That's why I go to certain studios and stuff. And when people like try to play with quality, that's why I say quality is everything to me. That's everything because if you don't like it, if I don't like it, what makes you think he gonna like it, she gonna like it, he gonna, who you know, even though they do, but I'm just saying me. If I like it, I know what I like, and I listen to music, and I listen to hip hop every day. So if I know what I like, that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna give to the people. I'm gonna do that. That's what's up, man. Man, you set this up real good, man. Yeah. I, I feel the people that's on Facebook and the people that's listening. They're like, man, let's hear some of his dope music, man. Yeah. So you got two singles that you brought by. Yeah. Promises and Dependent. Yeah, for sure. And which one you want to play first? We can play the Dependent first. All right. That's talk, to us, talk to us. What should we know about Dependent? Dependent, man. Basically, like, you just... A lot of people think like you dependent, like you like you want it for something, like you need something, like you you, you gotta you want your hand out. It ain't all about that. Dependent on something can mean that you just dependent on an opportunity. You just want an opportunity. You know, a lot of a lot of people out here, you know, in uh, depth and stuff like that. So it's just opportunity. You just dependent on the opportunity. That's all. She's your radio, Brian Stinson, YTS Keys, man. Uh, awesome guest, man. Trey Glow, man, with dependent is in your ears right now. With this because I love you, I love you, no attitude on I hate you, I want you. I don't even conversate the dream of modern day. I can't trust nobody. I can't trust nobody, no. For my holiday, I'm flogging. We could have been unstoppable. Like we would have was there when we should do. 
Song was only two minutes, man. I felt like it was another like two minutes that mm -hmm. was so loud, mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But it went quick. Man. Mm -hmm. It went real quick. Mm -hmm. So if you weren't paying attention and you went to go get yourself a sandwich, when mm -hmm. you came back, it was off. <laughs> it was off, man. I'm just saying, man. If you went to get sure. yourself some sandwich sure. or some cookies, sure. you you had the munchies. For sure. You had the munchies because mm -hmm. you was getting high, like all the guests. Then you know you came back. It, it was done. Oh, I missed the shot. <laughs> Why you shaking your head at me? Nah, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got caught up in the moment though, the whole time. Like, I ain't gonna from my mood. See, me as an artist, I like to give people their pops. You feel me? I ain't no hater. Like, I ain't gonna put no names on it. But you know you know how certain people, people like, they hear your music and know it's cold, know it's real merch. Like, see, where I come from, we call it, like, good music merch. You feel me? So sure. that was real merch right there. You feel me? Appreciate like, it, bro. I bumped that. You feel me? I appreciate like, it, man. I bumped that. Like, so I'm sitting there listening to it. I'm like, man, I wish I was coming in next after that. You know? <laughs> like I ain't go, I ain't go from my mood. Like I wish I, I had a verse coming in on that. That's all I'm like, man. Like, I appreciate that, that, that bro. That was low key cold though. You feel we can do something for sure, man. We know you can do. We can do something, man. Remix, remix, brother. Remix. I'm listening to it. I'm like, remix. man. Like I love when I listen to other people's music, and it make me want to do better. Like. Like, I need to step my game up. Like, not even on no hating. It's just, no, when you no, hear no. good music, you ain't supposed to hate. You're supposed so, to appreciate it. Sure. Like, because I actually love the craft of making music. So, so when so, I hear yeah. other people doing, you feel me, doing good or doing their thing with it, it made me mm -hmm. like, man, like, that pushed me to get better. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Like, other people don't hear that and be like, oh, they be mad. Oh, this man's so boom. No, you're supposed to want to get better. You hear somebody go crazy like so. that. So, so can I add on to what you said, just to just to tell you how much he's really listening to the song, right? Mm -hmm. So I was talking to him about some technical with the board, and he was like, "Bro, bro, I'm really trying to hear the song." You <laughs> feel me? Like, <laughs> I just shut my whole conversation down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like, you know, I'm multitasking. I'm listening and all that stuff. He really was trying to like just focus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get nothing else but the song. Because, <laughs> like, like I always try to tell, but like every artist or like musician or however you make music, we all got a process with making music. Sure. So, like me personally, I hear a beat. And I'll just off hearing a beat, if it click a certain type of way, sure. I already know what I want to say on it, or it just hit a certain type of way. So when that came on, I'm like, man, oh. nah, sure. this this sounds like one of them. So it sure. made me like tune in a little bit Appreciate more. Appreciate it, man. I think, thank you, thank you, man. Because that's that type of rap I want to make. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. it ain't always gotta be gang gang. Like cause yeah. that wasn't no gang gang song. That yeah. was like a real, like you said earlier yeah. when you were describing your sound yeah. and your music. It was like you felt it. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, yeah, yeah. that that was one. You're gonna feel it in your heart, soul, your legs, your arms, everything. You're gonna feel it <laughs> everywhere. I'm telling you, you're gonna feel it, man. It's like a shock. You're gonna feel it. I'm telling you. That voice you hear, man, it's Trey Glow, man, along with my brother, man, YTS Keys, and man, myself, Brian Stinson, man. We make up Fusion Radio right here in the building, man. And so, uh, paint the picture, man, as to what it's like to, man, see you live in person, man, when you perform it. Uh, what it's like, you're gonna see a lot of energy, you're gonna feel that vibe. You gonna you gonna you gonna want to stay there when the show over. You gonna still be right there. That's how that's how much you gonna love it. When the show over, where you gonna still be right there playing my songs on your phone. You gonna be searching me up on YouTube after that show. That's how much you gonna love it. 
That's how much I make. I just bring out that energy to people. Because I'm like I say, I support everybody. I love everybody. Everybody cool with me. You know, in my eyes, I don't got no enemies. I don't, I'm, I'm cool, you hear me? I don't mess with nobody. You know, I'm straight. So when I come and I do my thing, I really do my thing. I be there. I want to do. I want to do what I came there to do. You know, for my crowd, for my supporters, I don't call them fans. You'll never, even if I get up, give up, I mean, get up in life yeah. with this music stuff, when I do, I mean, you ain't gonna never hear me call nobody a fan. I don't believe in the fan word. That's just me, I don't believe in the fan word. I believe calling people supporters. That's what I do. So all my supporters, you know, that's what I do. I just bring off that energy, my that vibe, y'all gonna feel it. So that's it. I ain't gonna lie, he definitely brought the vibe today though. I ain't gonna lie, with that first song, like, you you kind of set the tone, though, a little bit, though, sure. like, because, see, I don't know, like, don't get me wrong, everybody can't make a certain type of music, mm -hmm. you know? like, I ain't trying to, like, down talk nobody or nothing like that, but it's not easy to make a certain type of music, though, like, yeah. everybody, like, anybody can make a one-hit wonder, but to keep making a certain type of music at a certain type of level, that's yeah. not easy, Yeah. like, people don't understand yeah. that, like, people think you could just go in the studio and just, like, nah, it don't even work like that. You right, bro. Cause if it worked like that, everybody would be making like smash hits, like what they hold everybody be Man. bumping everybody album and everybody. stuff like that. <laughs> like sometimes you would listen to a person album, you only probably like like one or two, three songs on the album. It's like 10, 12 songs on it. You feel me? But it's only certain people you could play like they whole album or like half oh, their wow. album or so like seventy five percent of their album. It's yeah. only certain people that can really do that. Yeah. So when you got that gift, you gotta hone into that though. But I, I definitely like that rap though. Appreciate we, it, we man. We definitely gotta work do something. Appreciate it. You know, we could, man. We could. For sure, for sure. I'm open anything, bro. For sure, for sure. Most definitely. Then you bringing that out west vibe, over east vibe, we gonna just... Hell yeah, hell yeah. It's gonna be some legendary. It's gonna be some legendary, I'm telling you. Most be legendary. Most That's all I'm about. I'm about legendary, man. I just want to make a legacy. You know, I just want to... When I leave her, I don't want to leave her. And people just be thinking like, oh, yeah, you know. You know, they just seen what they seen on camera. I want to leave something that when people see, they see it on camera and they also see it off camera. See, that's what I want to leave. I want to leave something that... That people gonna actually remember when they go to sleep before they go to sleep. Gonna be like, man, you know, I remember this. When they wake up, they gonna be like, man, you know, I remember this. You know, for sure. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what I'm trying to bring in the game. That's why I say I'm new. That's what's up, man. Check this too, man. What it's like, man, to be an independent artist, man. You know, the highs and the lows, man, of being an independent artist. Man, it takes a lot of work. It's a lot of work. A lot of work. You know, I'm I'm writing. You know, I ain't got no uh, manager right now. So I'm just uh, doing everything on my own right now. And uh, I'm just really, just really, man, just trying to see what's my next step. That's basically, cause I'm just, I'm just at a, I'm just at a milestone right now. I'm just trying to see where, where, I'm, where I want to take my next step. You know, that's why I keep writing, keep writing and doing it. Okay, okay. And when you listen to music besides hip hop, like what's some other things like other, genres of music that you listen to that influence your music in its own? I listen to Adele. I listen to Adele. I listen to, uh, listen to a lot of female artists. I ain't gonna lie. A lot of female, like, I listen to, uh, it'll be pop. I listen to rock. I listen to R&B. I listen to jazz. I listen to old school music, like Temptations, Smoke, Smokey Robinson. See, for some people don't even probably know them. Smokey Robinson, Temptations, all them. I listen to them. I listen to them people. You know why? Because they teach you stuff. They teach you things. And all that old music has been here before. Mm -hmm. It's been here before, so they teach you a lot of new stuff. So that's why I listen to everything. See, like that goes back to like the questions that I asked, um, you feel me, Cash from the Nine. Like, is it more of a just you doing it because you want to get some money or do you actually, like, are you actually passionate about the music, though? Because I feel like a lot of people ain't passionate about the music. Like, they don't study the game. Like, like I'm going to use an analogy, like basketball, like Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant studied the game. He studied everybody around him. Like, if you did something better than him or you knew something that he didn't know, he wouldn't, like, he'll ask you and he'll really try to learn. Like, a lot of people don't sit down and, like he said, they don't know who Smokey Robinson is, The Temptations. Like, they don't go back to the old Dusties and listen to that music and try to influence it in their own music and stuff like that. So it's like, to hear somebody say that, I love that because I appreciate music. But I wasn't always like that either, though. I ain't appreciate music until I got music stripped away from me. 
Like, you feel me? Going to jail, not being able to listen to YouTube all day. It made me think, like, man, I just, I never understood how big music is to me until it was took away from me. And I felt really bad. So I'm like, man, I can't do what I love. I'm letting somebody else stop me from doing what I want to do. So, bro. So I'm like, nah, that's why I appreciate music and I do stuff like this. Like, come do an awesome radio show with an awesome co host. So, show. man, no, man. Y'all awesome, y'all great. Show. <laughs> Shout y'all out. No, man, it's, it's really a joy, man. And, um, you know, I don't want to sound like a broken record, man, but, like, you know, you guys, like, seriously, um, you guys just don't know how much of a sense of accomplishment. When I talk to you guys every weekend, it's crazy how, man, like the flowers have really been coming in lately as far as what people feel about this radio show, so, man. It's like there are people in other cities and states so, that, so, man, they look forward to hearing you guys and so, watching you on live. And so, man. you know, um, that's, that's what keeps me uh, going. So, is, is, is this outlet, you know, to provide for others and network you with other people so you can meet those goals that you so, have, you so, know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. as far as your music and all that stuff. So speaking of that, man, what's some of your long-term goals that you got for your movement? Uh, my long-term long goals, uh, I see myself real, real estate. I see myself opening up a lot of studios so anybody can come record. I see myself doing music, obviously. I see myself teaching, being a mentor to other people. So just not just to me and my team, you know, I don't, it don't matter, I recruit people just off the street, you know, that's how I am. And that's that's why I say I'm, I'm gonna be different because when I get on, people gonna understand and be like, man, why you ain't asking for money for this? No, cause I got everything. God bless me with everything. God bless me with a billion dollars. Why would I charge somebody fifty dollars, a hundred dollars of this to do this? No, you got it for free, bro. You good. So that's what I'm on, that's what I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring new talent in that people that really need a chance, opportunity, that really wanna be successful, wanna do this for their family. Not even gotta be for your family, for yourself. You hear me? It's just to better yourself. You got an opportunity now when I'm in the game. You definitely got an opportunity. Homeless people, anybody, I don't care. If you know how to do something, you got a skill, a talent, you're gonna be on my team. That's my long term goals right there. I wanna do that, I wanna help my community. I wanna help for real. A lot of people say they wanna help, but they ain't really helping though, for real. So on your bucket list, man, you want to talk about social media and, you know, you want to talk about media in general, man. Like, mm -hmm. what, what in specific do you want to talk about as far as those two things? Man, media, fake, everything on that, well, some things on that not fake, but mostly everything on that fake. It's just like a lot of people portray themselves to something that they really not. I try to portray themselves to, like, uh, be better and look, I look below other people like, yeah, you ain't got this. You ain't doing this, you ain't doing it. A lot of people say they humble, but once you slip up, or you, you slip up, they can see that, the whole world see that now. And you just say you humble, when you don't show no humbleness in any, anything, people see that, the whole world see that, your, your supporters see that. Mm -hmm. So it's like, a lot of people portray an image that they wanna play on, on camera, but when they cut the camera off, they not really like that, they take that mask off. They not really like that, they like, Oh man, like, ooh, you don't even know. A lot of people y'all see probably, they got millions of dollars, they probably really broke. They probably really don't even got no money for real. They probably like, really like only got to their name probably like thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 to their name probably, you know? So it's like, the social media is just fake it till you make it. That's the media world, fake it till you make it. Mm -hmm. Until you make it, if you really don't show yourself, your true self when you make it, then you was fake your whole life, even before the fame. So that's what I'm saying, like, all oh, this, Nah, you got to really know, you got to really sit down with a person and know him on and off camera to really know that, oh yeah, he really liked that, you know? So I, that's all, that's really it that I had to say about the media. It's just fake, a lot of stuff just fake on now. Social media wise, man, how can they follow you? Um, Fisher Trey Glow, uh, on Instagram, um, Glow Glory Montana on, uh, no, Trey Glow, I'm sorry, Trey Glow on YouTube as well. I got a song just dropped. It's on my own. It's at 44K right now. I want y'all to get that to like 60K for me if y'all could. 100K, that'll be great. Uh, that's it, really. It's just uh, Instagram and YouTube for right now, really. And uh, I got uh, Apple Music, same thing, Trey Glow, on everything. Apple Music, you, Google Music, iTunes, all that, Trey Glow. T-R-E-Y-G-L-O. So we got one more song, man, Promises. You saved this one for last, man. Give us some insight on promises. Promises, promises is everything. 
I look at promises like loyalty. Loyalty is everything. Be loyal. So if you say a promise, I expect you to keep that. You know? So that's all just promises that I, I have made or other people have probably made to me. That's all. Our brother, man, Trey Glover, man. Man, I can't tell you how much fun this was to do this, man. Thank you. I'm so glad, man, you was able to take some time out, man, spend some time with us on this uh, weekend, man. Appreciate and, it, man. Uh, feature some of your dope music, man. Thank you, man. We got my homie Trey Glow single promises in your ears, man. This is Fusion Radio with Brian Stinson and YTS Keys. Okay. Man, I'm telling you, man, it's not playing, man. I'm telling you, man. It's not playing, man. 